night about a victorious mindset write it a victorious mindset or the victorious mindset really hallelujah the bible says do not be conformed what does that mean that means that there is pressure attempting to bring your mindset listen a mindset talks of some total of your ideologies a sum total of your philosophies your value system what makes up your belief system what informs your convictions about god about men about life and can i tell you something we come from different backgrounds and as diverse as our backgrounds are so are our mindsets we have packed every kind of thing from different systems different experiences and when we all come into the kingdom the bible says we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation what happens you come as you are but you don't remain as you are are you listening to me the problem with the body of christ is we want to come as we are and remain as we are no no you come as you are and then the holy spirit engages you in the ministry of transformation hallelujah your work with the spirit should bring a predictable result i should be able to look at you after a season of working with the word and with the spirit you should look like something and that portrait is the one we call jesus christ hallelujah that's why the bible says let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 he said let this mind the word let there is permit permit this mindset jesus walked upon the earth he had a mindset are you listening to me jesus had a mindset he had he he had a way he behaved the way he responded to people they believed that um there would not be fish he spoke as one with authority they caught uh, a prostitute and brought to him and he responded he seemed to operate uh with a value system that was not known to the then jewish nation and they were very surprised what kind of mind is this how do you think what is your thinking pattern like can i tell you something every successful man in life has a mindset whether in the secular or in the kingdom and a healthy mindset is not part of the gift of the spirit are you listening to me oh no the bible says get wisdom buy the truth it puts a pie strap there hallelujah you cannot receive a kingdom mindset as an impartation no why because there are already forces in your mind the bible calls them strongholds the weapons of our warfare the bible says are not carnal but mighty through god hallelujah what do those weapons do to the pulling down of strongholds they exist in the realm of the mind he said casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ you are not just a kingdom citizen because you bear a christian name even if your name is kingdom it doesn't make you a kingdom citizen hallelujah there is a mindset and can i tell you something dr mike mudok said something and i respect so much he said the world has embraced the person of jesus christ but we have rejected his principles i mean the church while the world has rejected the person of jesus christ but they have embraced his principles how true hallelujah and so there is not just it's not just enough for us to pray we've had 21 days prayer and fasting you can never rise above the level of your mindset are you listening to me you can never know i will show you from scripture that the mindset of a man can limit god in his life god began to walk with the nation of israel and he showed them mighty things in egypt hallelujah the ten plagues and he parted the red sea he did a lot of things to prove to them that he was lord but they had a mindset do you realize that they had been in egypt for 430 years 
Listen, 430 years is enough for you to adopt a mindset because you were born there. Are you listening to me? Now, when the Lord called them, that's why he had to separate them from Egypt. When God calls a man, he takes you out of the environment that created that wrong mindset. And then he walks on you. Then he sends you back as a deliverer. That's what he did to Moses. Moses was born with a mindset. He took Moses out to the backside of the mountain for 40 years. Let me announce to you that God is not in the world. He can wait. Are you listening to me? For 40 years, he wanted to use Moses. But the mindset of Moses kept limiting him. Until he walked on Moses in a way as a manner that his mind could now release God. The exact same thing happened to Abraham. God had a blessing for Abraham in his life. And he wanted to come in the but the mindset of Abraham would not allow the Lord to bless him. And one day the Lord said, how do I go through this guy's mindset? He said, Abraham, come on, look at the stars. He said, count them. And Abraham began to count. And he could not count. He said, now, this is how I will bless you. Finally, Abraham You have grown up with a mindset and you live in a world that says well whatever whatever will be will be whatever will be will be if i die today i die if i'm sick today i'm sick whatever will be whatever life gives me then you begin to study in god's word and it says that this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth he said thou thou should be careful that you observe it he said then shall thy ways be prosperous and thou shall have good success and then Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 says, It shall come to pass in that day, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I commanded this day. He said that I will set you on high, and all these blessings shall come upon you and shall overtake you. There are two kingdoms fighting. The mindset that you got from your village, living with your grandmother, living with all kinds of things. Whenever the Lord begins to speak of blessings, you are not ready for those things because of a mindset. Do you realize how that Satan has crippled the church, the body of Christ, the nation of Nigeria by giving us a mindset that came from the African culture? Are you listening to me? There is a mindset that the African culture gave us. It's a mindset of servitude. We inherited it when, when the colonial masters came. After they finished with Nigeria, they left a mindset of servitude. And that mindset still follows even intelligent students on campus because the moment a student enters school the next thing he's thinking of he do, he's not thinking of productivity he's not thinking of creativity he's thinking of what servanthood let me just get somebody and let me be a secretary it's a mindset they limited god in the wilderness by saying can god and the bible said that statement provoked god and god was angry how dare you Father, we thank you. Thank you tonight for challenging us. We refuse to conform to the thinking pattern of the world. We refuse to let the things we watch, the things we read about, the things we see and hear distract us from the reality of your word. Lord, we make commitments tonight that your word becomes final authority in our lives. That in life and death we live by your word, manifesting the fruits of faith and of the operation of the spirit lord we know that your word will not fail there is a joy that is coming and our families our nation our departments our faculties our workplaces will celebrate your hand in our lives hallelujah we give you praise in the name of jesus christ